The Chinese video sharing app TikTok says it could go to court over U.S. sanctions. Donald Trump issued two executive orders on Thursday banning all transactions with the owners of TikTok and WeChat as restrictions coming into force 45 days later. The spread in the United States of mobile applications developed and owned by companies in the People's Republic of China continues to threaten the national security, foreign policy and economy of the United States. TikTok has been in Trump's sights for a while. Earlier, he warned people who use the app that their data could end up in the hands of the Chinese authorities. The U.S. president has also threatened to ban TikTok's U.S. operations unless they are sold to an American firm. Microsoft is currently mulling the proposition. Here's how TikTok users have been reacting to the standoff. Tonight, TikTok will be banned in the U.S. So you guys, we have a dilemma, okay? I'm hearing that TikTok might be banned in America. If this is the problem, I just started becoming famous and I only have 100 followers. Yo, John, don't you have like 15 million followers on TikTok? Yeah. Well, not anymore. They're banning TikTok. Dude, you're gonna have to get a regular job. Benjamin Chow, a professor at the Paris School of Business and the Southwestern University of Finance and Economics in China, says a dangerous precedent may be being set. The Trump administration has provided no specific evidence that, the, that TikTok has made user data available to the Chinese government. On the other hand, Snowden revealed that the U.S. has a mass surveillance program. The most notorious of all is the PRISM program, which has direct access to servers of several technology giants in the States. Trump wants TikTok to be out as soon as possible because it is so close to the U.S. presidential election and the TikTok users are mainly under 30 who do not support Trump much. Trump's short-sighted behavior may harm American companies eventually because it sets a dangerous precedent of seizing foreign investment through law enforcement departments opening the door for other countries to treat American companies in the same way. It also discourages future foreign investment in the States.